Hey guys, how you going? My name is Dom and today I want to talk about the scroll event in JavaScript. Um, so the scroll event allows you to react to whenever your user scrolls down or scrolls up your web page. Okay, so let's see how this thing works with an example. Okay, so inside this source code for this page, um, it looks like this. Okay, so let's just add some dummy text um, to actually get a scroll bar on the browser. So let's add a new paragraph tag inside here and give it some lorem ipsum dummy text. Let's copy this about six times. All right, now we can now save this and refresh the browser and we should see a scroll bar. All right, cool. So now when I scroll down, we're gonna add an event listener, um, the scroll event um, you know, which will actually run a JavaScript function to be executed. Okay, so um, back inside the code, let's head over to the JavaScript section um, and let's add an event listener for the window object. All right, so uh, let's type out window dot add event listener. We're going to listen for the scroll event. So we're going to pass in scroll as the first argument. Okay. For the second argument, this will be um, the function to be executed when the user scrolls down or up the web page. So let's put an arrow function inside here with no arguments. Okay. So we have this function um, right here. So uh, for the time being, let's just console.log and say scrolls. Okay. So now we have an event listener which listens for the scroll event. When a user scrolls up or down, it's going to run this function inside here. All right, so uh, we can now save this and refresh the browser. And then if I scroll down, we get scrolled in the console. This works basically um, at any point you scroll up or down the web page. You can see we've got 88 times that function was just ran and so on. Okay, so um, uh, a good use of this or um, a good thing to do would be to actually um, find out uh, how much the user has actually scrolled down. Okay, so let's find out that number right now. So um, back inside the source code, inside the function here, let's find out how much the user has actually scrolled down. So let's make a new constant inside here and we'll call this one scrolled, okay, which is equal to window dot scroll y all right so window dot scroll y is um, the amount um, that the user has actually scrolled down we can then console dot log scrolled inside there so I can save this and then refresh the browser and then if I was to scroll down we get that number right there so on the bottom of the page on the bottom we get 157 Point seven one four and so on. So we have this number right here. Just for a little demonstration um, or an example, um, let's actually make it so when I scroll all the way down, we get a message box um, that says, you know, you've scrolled down to the bottom. Okay, so let's create that right now. To do so, we have to work out um, the amount of scrollable space that the user can actually scroll down. So clearly here, the user is um, able to scroll down 157.71 pixels. All right. So once we have that amount, which is right there, we can then check and see if they've actually scrolled down um, to that amount right there. So um, inside the code, let's try and get this number right here without actually scrolling down. All right. So back inside here, let's make a new constant and we'll call this one scrollable. And this will be, as I said, the amount of scrollable height, because obviously um, JavaScript can't actually scroll down for you. So there's no way of actually knowing this number unless you scroll down or use this method right here, if that makes sense. Okay, so scrollable will be equal to um, document.document.element, 
dot scroll height. So that one right there is the actual height of the entire document. Okay, this will be subtracted by window dot inner height. Okay, so that's the height of the window. So if you subtract the entire document height, um, sorry, if you subtract if you subtract the height of the window um, from the height of the document, you can get the total amount of scrollable height, which will be that number right there or very close to it. Okay, so if I was to console.log scrollable here, save this and then refresh, we get 158. So that's the total amount of scrollable pixels. So now we, get, we can actually just check if um, if the scrolled value is equal to the scrollable value. All right, um, so we can put a condition down here. We can say if um, scrolled is equal to scrollable, then we're going to say alert and we'll say you've reached the bottom. All right, okay, so the problem is this scrolled value, as we saw earlier, is actually a floating point number. So it was like 157.141. So we actually want to use the math.seal function, which will actually um, round up this value here um, to the next decimal. So now um, on the bottom, this value here should be 158 from 157.1, um, which is equal to scrollable. All right. So we can save this and refresh the browser and then scroll down and we get you've reached the bottom. All right. So that is how you can use the scroll event in JavaScript. Thank you for watching and I'll see you later.